So you're thinking about living in Sioux Falls? Well, today we're gonna give you the pros and the cons of living in Sioux Falls 2023 edition. Hi, I'm Ramsey Salame, a local realtor, and welcome to another episode of Sensational Sioux. In this video, we're gonna give you some of the great things of living in Sioux Falls and some of the not so great things. We're gonna start this off with a few top reasons why people love living in Sioux Falls. One of the most popular and the first reason for today is is no state income tax. This is one of my favorite reasons to live in Sioux Falls, but actually it's statewide. South Dakota is one of nine states that currently has no state income tax. That's right, zero. So the more money you make, the more you get to keep. Let's move on to the second reason why people love living in Sioux Falls, cost of living. The cost of living in Sioux Falls, South Dakota is currently 8% lower than the national average. So here's another area you can save some money. Just for a few examples, I'm gonna list a few. The median home price in Sioux Falls, South Dakota is currently $296,000. That's up $38,000 from 2021. A basic two bedroom apartment is roughly around $1,000 in Sioux Falls. A basic three bedroom apartment in Sioux Falls is roughly $1,200 a month. A two to three bedroom single family home to rent in Sioux Falls is roughly about $1,200 to $1,500 a month. So I hope that gave you some basic insight on living in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Let's move on to the third reason why people love living in Sioux Falls. The Sioux Sioux Falls Regional Airport. There are currently 18 direct flights to most major cities in the United States. So there are plenty of direct flights or you're likely to find a connection to get almost anywhere in the world. The Sioux Falls Regional Airport is roughly 12 to 15 minutes away from the center of Sioux Falls. That makes it super convenient to get to the airport from any part of town. So if you're looking for a quick getaway on a plane, you're just minutes away from doing so. So now that we know about the Sioux Falls Regional Regional airport. Let's move on to the fourth reason why people love living here. Now this one is one of my favorites, dining options. Yes, I love to eat. Sioux Falls has one of the best food selections from what I've experienced and what I've been told. Here are a few of my favorites. Papa Woody's is known for its wood-fired pizza, flatbreads, and great appetizers. But don't let that stop you from trying their burgers. They have this burger called the Uptown Burger. It actually is an award-winning burger that got number one in the Sioux Falls Burger Battle. My second favorite dining option is Josiah's Coffee House and Cafe. Josiah's is one of the most spacious cafes I've ever seen. From the amazing food, the comfortable setting, the friendly staff, and the fast-moving lines, it makes it one of the most unique places around here. My my third favorite dining option is Maury's Steakhouse. Maury's is one of the most underrated restaurants in Sioux Falls. If you were to compare this steakhouse to any other steakhouse in the United States, I would guess the prices would be three to five times higher, if that says anything. My favorite steak on this menu is the Japanese Wagyu filet. I don't think I've ever had a steak like that anywhere else, and I'm a steak fanatic. So if you get the opportunity to go to Mori's, definitely try the Japanese Wagyu filet. The steaks, pastas, and seafood are top of the line. So now that we know some of the pros of living in Sioux Falls, it's time to know some of the cons of living here. Because if you're serious about moving to Sioux Falls, not everything is perfect. And this is stuff you need to know. Did you know that Sioux Falls has tornadoes? Yes, tornadoes. Now this one can scare some of the potential movers off, but we'll let the statistics speak for themselves. The last tornado that touched down in Sioux Falls before 2019 was in July of 1989, which was actually before I was born. So to answer your question, yes, we can get tornadoes, but they're pretty rare. So if you can deal with tornadoes, maybe you wouldn't mind snowstorms. To start off 2023 and halfway through the month of January, we're currently sitting at 18.2 inches of total snow. Now that's only for the year, so we're halfway through January. A typical snowfall in Sioux Falls, South Dakota from the winter months of October to March, on average, we get between 40 to 40 45 inches of snow. If you are a stranger to a shovel or a snowblower, you may want to call someone to plow your driveway. 
So if you're going to deal with the snowstorms as much as we do, you're definitely going to need to get used to it. Living in Sioux Falls, snowstorms are kind of just a way of life. So I'm going to give you a few easy tips of how to deal with it. Here's what I do. All right, so step one, buy a shovel, buy a snowblower, or call a plow. You're gonna need some warm snow gear. So like a coat, a hat, a nice warm jacket, and some snow boots. Now you can't wait until the snowstorm's completely over to start moving snow, because otherwise you're gonna have a lot to do and you're definitely gonna hate it. So you need to start moving the snow in between the heavy stuff. That might be snow blowing or shoveling two to three times during that storm because sometimes they last two or even three days. Now you can handle the snowstorms. Well, I hope this video gave you some great insight into moving to Sioux Falls 2023 edition. Sioux Falls has so many options on places to live. So if you need any assistance or have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. For more information on moving to Sioux Falls or you want to learn more about Sioux Falls in general, check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Ramsey with eXp Realty. Thanks for watching.